Good day everyone. Now let's talk about subtracting dissimilar fractions. Again, when you say dissimilar fractions, that means that the denominators are different. Now let's subtract dissimilar fractions using butterfly method. Here are the steps. First, cross multiply. So all you need to do is to cross multiply this 1 and 4. Okay? Here and we put the answer here in the antenna of this butterfly. So we have 1 times 4 is 4. And then this 1 and 2. So 1 times 2, we have here 2. Let's put it in the other antenna. Then we subtract. So we have 4 minus 2. So we subtract the new numerators, which is 4 minus 2. That is 2. Okay, so we subtract the numbers, and after that, we multiply the denominator. So the denominators are 2 and 4, so when we multiply that, we put it here, it, it's 8. So our denominator now is 8. So after multiplying the denominators, we simplify it to lowest term. So as you can see, 2 and 8 as common factor. We use continuous division method to find for the lowest term, so we have the common factor which is 2 we have here 8 divided by 2 is 4 so our quotient is 1 fourth now it is called butterfly method since as we go through the process we formed a butterfly let's have more examples so we have here 5 and 3 fourth minus 3 and 1 half so first what we're going to do since this these fractions are dissimilar fractions. So we cross multiply here the 3 and 2. So when we multiply 3 times 2, that is 6. We put it here. So it's, here's the answer. And then we also multiply 1 and 4. And our answer here is 4. Disregard first the whole number in doing the butterfly method. So we will subtract the whole number at the latter part. So we subtract here the new numerators, which is 6 minus 4 is 2. Then we multiply the denominators. We have 4 times 2, that is 8. So our answer is 2, 8. Then we also subtract the whole number, 5 minus 3, that is 2. Then we simplify that. We have 2 and 8. So this is 2, 1, 4. And our answer is one fourth and don't forget to write the whole number which is two so our final answer is two and one fourth next still the similar fractions so we follow the process of butterfly method by multiplying this or the cross multiplying this one and four we have four and one times eight we have eight okay the next is subtract the new numerators which is 4 minus 8 and as you can see in the numerators the menu win is less than the subtrahend so we cannot subtract right away 4 minus 8 so what we're going to do is to multiply this first the denominator for 8 times 4 which is 32 so we write here first 4 minus 8 over 32 then we, we can subtract this. 7 minus 2 for the whole numbers. We have 5. Now, what we're going to do is to regroup the, this 5 into 4 and 32 over 32, which is still equal to 5. So, Because 32 over 32 is equal to 1. Okay? And 4 plus 1 is still equal to 5. So... The value doesn't change. We just regrouped it. So remember that fractions such as 4 over 4, 10 over 10, 150 over 150, and so on are just equal to 1. So why did I choose 32 over 32? Because the denominator here is 32 and it would be easier to add this 32 over 32 to, to 4 over 32 since they are similar. Okay, so... I'll, I can add this 32 plus 4 minus 8. The same denominator, which is 32. So I'll add 32 plus 4, 
that is 36 minus 8 then copy the denominator which is 32 and also the whole number which is now 4 so 36 minus 8 we can now subtract and our answer here is 28 over 32 then copy the whole number then 30, 28 and 32 have common factors so let us find the lowest term by you by getting its prime number so we have here to start with 2 so 1 14 1 16 okay continue 7 and this is 8 so there's no common between 7 and 8 then our new fraction is 7 over 8 then copy the whole number which is 4 so our final answer is 4 and 7 8 Next, we have what is the difference between 4 and 1 fourth and 1 and 3 fifth. So when you say difference, that's the answer in subtraction. So we need to subtract this 4 and 1 fourth minus 1 and 3 fifth. So the same process and as the butterfly method, we cross multiply 5 and 1. So that is 5. We cross multiply 4 and 3, that is 12. And we also multiply the uh, denominators we have 5 times 4 which is 20 so as you can see again 5 minus 12 we cannot subtract right away so we copy it here then we write the new denominator which is 20 then we subtract 4 minus 1 it's 3 so what are we going to do is we regroup this whole number 3 and we'll make it 2 and 20 over 20 so again 2 and 2 and 20 over 20 is still equal to 3. I just regrouped it. And I choose 20 over 20 so that I can easily add it to this fraction since they are similar. The denominators are the same. So 20 over 20 plus 5 minus 12 over 20. So 20 plus 5, that is 25 minus 12 over 20 copy the whole number so 25 minus 12 is equal to 13 over 20 then copy the whole number so there is no common between 13 and 2 aside from 1 then our final answer is 2 and 13 over 20 okay let's try these examples you may pause the video and after a few seconds, you'll be able to see the answers. So you may try to solve and answer these questions. Okay, for the answer of the first equation, we have 2 and 2, 15. And for the second equation, the answer is 1 half.